Bitcoin predictions for the solar annular eclipse coming up on October 2nd. This is not financial or investment advice. Welcome, I'm Jack. I'm an engineer gone crypto astrologer. On this channel, I combine technical analysis with astrology. Be aware of the spam bots and don't follow the further crypto scams in the comments below. Watch this video all to the way to the end because I'll give the Bitcoin predictions at the end. And we will look at the solar eclipse astrology here first um, and quickly I am getting over uh, a little bit of food poisoning, so if I'm talking a little bit slowly or if I sound like low energy, that is the reason why. Send me some prayers, y'all, okay? I'm starting to feel a lot better, though. Okay, so here is the moon lined up perfectly with the sun, and we also have Mercury back here. So it is uh, it has a wide conjunction with Mercury, this solar annular eclipse, Mercury is fairly close. Well, really, the moon and the sun in Mercury are fairly close to the south node in Libra. So if they were in the north node, this would be a lot more positive. But that's bringing in a bit of a downer. Um, but it's not all bad. So I'll talk more a lot about that. Uh, it could bring some issues with communication in the ways we think. Could bring some confusion. Um, being in the south node, the dumpster of the astrology chart. It could bring in some difficulty with trading as Mercury is the planet of trading. So be cautious. Don't make any major trades in the next week or two. All right. Now, take a look at this. This is really interesting. From the point of view from the Earth, look at this. Mars, Venus, and Saturn are in this perfect, almost perfect triangular formation here. So these three planets are forming trines with one another, which is very positive they're creating this, uh, I believe, equilateral triangle. Very, very good energy there. So that's very positive. And then in addition, these outer planets, we have Pluto making a positive sextile with Neptune right here. That's very good. We definitely want to see the outer planets making positive uh, transits here. And Uranus is also sextiling Neptune. So that is very positive. Even further, uh, Jupiter is sextiling Chiron, putting some ends to any past emotional wounds that we might be dealing with at this time. Uh, so that's also positive. So good amount of positive energy here. I'm feeling happy about that. How about you guys? Let me know in the comments below. Here's a closer look at the astrology. We have the sun and the moon and Mercury all in Libra, but it's with the south node, as I mentioned. Then we have Venus, Mars, and Saturn. Pretty close to making perfect trines with one another. That is very good. And then Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus making these positive uh, trines or sextiles with one another. And then it's also uh, Pluto is also trining Uranus at the same time. So looking good. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin chart, shall we? We're going to take a look at the daily chart, weekly, and we're going to take a look at the RSI and the stochastic RSI because we're seeing some really, really interesting things. Taking a look at the previous weekly close, we just got this weekly close, so this is very timely. This is a bullish candle. It's not bad. We, you know, we got above this 50% level at 61,300. Uh, we are sitting pretty right now. Um, and really good news is if we zoom out, take a look at this yellow line. That is the um, 21 SMA on the weekly. And we are sitting above that right now. So that is a critical level. And that is right there sitting at 62,700 approximately right now. We are above that currently. So, and, and it's really good news. We got that weekly close above that. Uh, but we got to continue to see uh, continued momentum there. Now we're gonna zoom out and take a look at the RSI. Um, now this is really important because we, ever since March of this year, we've been on a downtrend. You see this uh, trend line here, uh, and we have been bouncing off of that. As you look here, we've gone down, gone up, gone down, gone up, and we're, we're we've been getting rejected off of this trend line. And we just pop through, um, and we are sitting above this yellow uh, trend line here, or not trend line, but it's an average moving average. And that is looking good. So uh, we're getting started off on a breakout right now. Now it's we got a uh, we did get a weekly close, so that's 
looking really good. As long as we continue upwards, this could be, actually it could be a very explosive breakout. Um, so let's take a look at the momentum, the stochastic RSI, and we are getting that breakout with the momentum. Now, as long as this makes a higher high, we gotta get above, really above this level right here. We wanna get above that line. And so if we break out, that is looking good. However, uh, you know, we don't want to roll over. Um, so this is really short-term momentum. Uh, we could hope for a breakout up to, you know, way to the peak and that would be ideal but then you know usually there's it rolls over after that so short term this is bullish let's zoom out a bit more let's look at the two weekly now the two week is is getting a stochastic rsi but we're not sure if that is a fake out or if it's a legit stochastic rsi cross we take a look at the monthly the monthly momentum is on a downtrend so that's not super great um, and then we look at the two month, two months just made a stochastic RSI cross down. I covered this on my previous videos. Definitely take a look at my previous videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, that is not great because the previous couple times this happened marked really uh, the peak of the Bitcoin price chart. Um, the only good news is uh, that it's not just going straight down. It's actually looks like it's uh, flattening out a little bit there. And if this comes back up, uh, in the next couple months, then uh, that could give us continued momentum, uh, possibly guiding us into a new all-time high. So that would be the positive outcome. Uh, however, it's overall negative that we did get that cross. So of course, the bearish case would be that. If we zoom out to the two-month chart, we can see that Bitcoin is getting fairly stuck in these price ranges. Uh, and this this goes all the way back to March 2021, when the two month uh, Bitcoin price candle closed around the same level, uh, around 60,000 around there. And then we did get an uptrend, but you know, back in uh, 2000, the end of 2021, uh, we were not able to surpass 69,000. Now we did do that today i mean we did do that this year however if you look over here we are still getting a tremendous tremendous amount of resistance around you know 69,000, and we keep getting rejected we got rejected once back in uh march of this year second time in may April, uh, may and then a third time july august and so we have got to get a strong move up so in the short term, we're getting some weekly stochastic RSI breakouts, which is positive. Um, but in the long term, there, there's further time to wait to see if we are going to continue momentum upwards or if we were heading downwards, maybe for a few months, maybe even six months. So why are eclipses important? I cover eclipses a lot on this channel. Well, they represent endings and beginnings in our individual lives and on the world stage. Uh, they typically can bring world events and major market shifts. Now, a quick tip is to not make any major decisions during eclipses. It's not a great time to make any just colossal decisions like uh, buying a new house or getting a new job or things of that nature. You might want to wait till afterwards, especially this eclipse is with the south node, so that's not super great. Now, we do have uh, on this solar eclipse... It's in Libra, the sun and moon are conjunct Mercury and the south node, as I've mentioned, and we do get these positive sextiles that I was mentioning. So that these sextiles and the trines are bringing very positive energy into this eclipse. So we could see some positive shifts in our life after we overcome uh, some initiations or some challenges. Now, the Bitcoin astrology is looking pretty good as well. September, we're getting Pluto conjuncting the Bitcoin. Jupiter, it's in orb, so that's a minor positive. It's not getting a direct hit, so just minor. And then Saturn sextile the Bitcoin sun. October 15th, we're getting a direct hit. So that's going to be more and more bullish heading into October. And then Venus is sextiling the Bitcoin sun. That's always positive because Venus is the planet of love and money, bringing really positive energy. It could bring in uh, some more pumps to the Bitcoin price start. 
But then we're getting Jupiter square the Bitcoin Saturn. That's in orb, so it's not extremely negative. It's a minor negative. But overall, we're getting, you know, these three kind of major positives here. Um, so it's looking good. And a note is that Ethereum astrology is looking even better. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to make an Ethereum video for this solar eclipse. I could put that out. Um, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to receive critical crypto and astrology updates. Hit that subscribe button, maybe even the notification bell. I am still have 89% accuracy, so not so bad. Take advantage of that. Um, now let's take a look at some very, very significant charts here. This is really amazing. Um, so take a look at this. This is from my buddy Sim. His head is uh, missing a little bit right there, but uh, we can take a look at this amazing chart that I got from uh, him. And it's the number of active addresses. Now we look at the black line. That's Bitcoin, the Bitcoin price chart the last many years. And then the uh, gold line is the Bitcoin number of active addresses on the Bitcoin network. Now, as you see in the past cycle back in uh, 2020, the, the number of active addresses was going up exponentially. And that was followed by uh, massive pumps, a massive bull run for Bitcoin, understandably. And then it fell back down. Once the active addresses fell down, uh, we got a massive correction for Bitcoin. Then it started heading back up. We got another uh, massive pump for Bitcoin. We got a double top. Um, and then it started falling off after that all the way through the bear market. It started to get an upward trend since uh, the end of 2022. That's interesting. Uh, we got the FTX collapse. And it was it was having an upward trend into 2023. Then a major dump, a major fall off May 2023. And then it headed back up. And it was looking like we were going off into a mega bull run, but then it started to correct back down. I mean, look at this right in the time of the Bitcoin ETF launch, the Bitcoin active addresses was pretty low. Um, yeah, quite low. And then we did, it, it did get an upswing, but it did not create a new high like we see in a bull run. Um, and then take a look after the all time high in March of this year, we just, this just fell off a cliff. So those who are hoping for, you know, Bitcoin 100K, we're not seeing the amount of active addresses activity that we need for that to happen. We're still hanging out way down here. We haven't seen levels this low since uh, right before COVID, guys. So actually even further back than that. So it's it's very, it's quite low right now. So we, we need to see this pumping um, if we want to see, you know, crypto pumps. So there could be a little bit longer to wait here. I'll keep you guys updated. Now let's take a look at the Russell 2000. I always like to look at this one. We go up here. Uh, this one still needs to break out. We're still hanging out. Uh, almost making a new high here, but not a new all time high. So we need to get to create a new all time high. Uh, we're still at this. Um, we're still down here at 2,230. We got to get up to this level. Still not there. And so typically Bitcoin historically first sees the Russell break out to an all time high before Bitcoin really goes off on a run. Now we did get that early run and that's because the S&P 500, you know, broke out and the Dow Jones also broke out, which is still breaking out and the Nasdaq did as well. But we are seeing uh, price action slow down with the Nasdaq and that's definitely affecting crypto as well. Now, here's an interesting quote from Mark Moss. He thinks he said in a recent interview that we are crashing up into persistent inflation. Mark Moss is a very experienced investor, a uh, huge investor in Bitcoin. Uh, has a lot of knowledge and wisdom. So he's thinking that this recession is going to crash up. Unfortunately, this is actually really bad because the standard of living is going down. I mean, look around you in your country. Aren't uh, real estate prices skyrocketing? Aren't food prices skyrocketing? It's absolutely insane. This is why, this is the whole reason I created this channel, guys, is because we want to not get priced out of the market. We want to be able to buy a home. We want to be able to afford groceries, obviously. We want to survive and thrive, not just survive. We want to make you know, the next decades of our life absolutely amazing. We want to give back to the next generation, okay? And crypto is one of the only vehicles I believe that can do that. 
in this persistent inflation environment. Okay, and there's likely more money printing to come, unfortunately. Really quick announcement for the Crypto Astro Mastermind. During this eclipse season, when you sign up, you will receive everything you need to know to maximize your crypto profits within a year or less, guys. This could absolutely change your life and your future, not just for you, but also for your family. For the next two signups only, you will receive the following bonuses. Altcoins with 10x to 20x potential. This is a 2K or arguably a 10K value because if you're able to get a 20x, 10x uh, on an altcoin, that brings in a ton of income. So learn how to identify the most promising projects poised for exponential growth right now. A lot of my altcoin picks are actually performing quite well. Um, you'll also get number two, Crypto Astrology 101, arguably a 2K value. Tap into the powerful connection between the cosmos, cosmic cycles and crypto trends. Learn how I'm getting 89% accuracy, guys. This is absolutely incredible. I'll give you all of my secrets in that course. Now for the next two signups, you also get, that's not it. You also get Astrology 101 at 497 value. Build a strong foundation in astrology with this beginner friendly course for those uh, astrology beginners. And then number four, I'm stacking even more value. And this is arguably the most valuable bonus here. Crypto profit taking masterclass. This is priceless because what is the only way that we can lose in this crypto game is taking profits at a loss. And the only way we can make more crypto is sell when the price is high and buy back in when the price is low. This may sound easy, but most people miss this. Most people sell at a loss because there's so much fear. And when the markets are high, there's so much greed that they don't sell. This happens time and time again. This is why most people lose in this crypto game. I will help you succeed. Okay. Master the art of locking in profits at the perfect time. Who would like to time the market at the peak? Take this amazing priceless masterclass and you will get my deepest insights with astrology and with technical analysis as well. Okay, the Bitcoin predictions, what you guys have been waiting for. So definitely more volatility. We always get a lot of volatility during eclipse season. As long as there's no sudden surprises like some crazy world events, black swan events, Bitcoin could get a pump around the solar eclipse, give or take two weeks. And historically, Bitcoin does well with to uh, annular solar eclipses. That's specifically what this eclipse is, meaning that the moon is uh, in the middle of the sun, basically, and you can see a ring of fire around the moon if you're in the right place in the world. All right, there you guys go. Now, this is what I'm really excited about. I am going to share with you guys a brand new Crypto Astro song that I created. I think this is, I mean, I'm really digging this song. So check this out, guys. Listen in on this beautiful music. Like and share if you like this video, guys. Peace out. Enjoy this song. We're running on this wave. To the moon we go. In crypto we are brave. The rational graves got a spirit a bit strange. But we won't let confusion make us change. Crypto astro, feel the beating of soul. Money trying to go. It's out of control. the moon. 
solar annular eclipse y'all peace out